I got a new Canon DSLR and I forgot to switch the setting that says never rotate any of my images. So last night when I went out, half of my images came out vertical, half of them came out horizontal, as you can see from this preview here. So I'm going to use Exif tool to rotate them. Um, hopefully it'll help some of you. And I think this is the easiest way to do a mass rotation of any of your images, uh, whether it's for uh, astrophotography or something else. And I'm going to update the CR2 file, which is the Canon RAW files. Uh, you can get exif tool from exiftool.org. Uh, there are a few versions here. You can get the history as well. So I'm going to download the exif tool 12.39.zip. And I've downloaded it and I've extracted it. And you have an executable file here. Again, this is the easiest way. It may not work for everyone, especially if you're not used to command line. So you can open a command line, go into that directory. If I do ls, I'll see that exiftool.exe is here. So I'll do exiftool.exe. I'll go to my image folder. I'm putting quotes here because there's a space between the, the date and the name Astroberry. Um, and here I'll do, um, if I do tab, it just says the, the first one. So I'll do orientation, the orientation flag. Um, so you'll see that the orientation is set to rotate 90 degrees clockwise. Um, and if I do an asterisk instead of this, it'll list all the files. And you'll see that a bunch of them are rotated horizontally, uh, rotated 90 degrees clockwise, and a bunch of them are horizontal. And that's the normal. That's what I want. So I press enter. I'm going to go up. And now next to the orientation flag, I'm going to do equal horizontal. And what this will do is it'll go through all the files and change the the header flag for that orientation. And you'll see as it's working, it's creating uh, a copy of the originals and it is extension and it's changing the extension to .cr2 underscore original. So they're not actual files. And it is changing the other file to, uh, to be horizontal. And that took a few seconds, so I did 100 images, and you know it switched them all uh, pretty quickly. And now you can either get rid of the underscore originals, or you can save them if you ever need the vertical data. Um, if you want to save time, move all of your horizontal pictures into a different folder and, and do it there, uh, because as you'll see, although half my images were already horizontal, it duplicated them and did them, which is not really necessary. So hopefully this helps. Um, exiftool.org is a super cool resource if you're dealing with mass um, pictures. Have a good one.